What is going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. Another week, another update coming in for Rugby 25. Our first interim patch of Early Access 4, which is part of the Early Access that I have played the most on the channel. We had three videos last week on Rugby 25, which has not really been the, the way it's been since the game has, has come out. Uh, we did a part one and a part two for Early Access 4, and then we did one about the uh, the player creation as well. So there's lots of fun stuff for you guys to go and check out. This one though, the interim update, they've come up with some new stuff for us to, uh, to test and check out. I'm sure you guys are well aware of the formula of what we've done by now. Timestamps down in the uh, in the description and in the video timeline as well. If there's a particular area you want to jump through, we'll have a run through of the patch notes, see if there's any new changes in the menu systems, and then we're going to play a game and check out to see how many of these things are correct in the patch notes or how many of them might be uh, slightly off, as we've experienced uh, in the past. So starting out, I've cut my face over this side this time because I always end up moving it. I might as well just start here. We'll put the patch notes up over that side. So starting out with the patch notes that are coming from Big Ant Studios. Hi everyone! A new update is now available for Rugby 25. Thanks to everyone for their feedback on the last update. So we're starting out with improved support runners. Support runners positions themselves more aggressively to keep up with line breaks. Awesome! That was something that they did say in, in Early Access 4 was going to be a big thing. I can't say I've experienced that. I've put a lot more hours into Early Access 4 than any other one of the Early Accesses. It's still not something that I've seen. You can kind of say they're trying to chase you, but it's never felt like it's worth the pass to them. You'll just end up losing meters. So we'll definitely be testing that out today. Improved kicking system. The system for in-play kicks has been improved, including AI, better targeting kicks when attempting 50-22. Now, I've been playing Early Access 4 on the hardest difficulty because it's been the most fun. And, uh, man, the AI demolishes me with 50-22 kicks. So I'm really looking forward to see what updated means. They're just going to just endlessly go for 50-22s. That'll be an interesting test. Uh, general gameplay improvements includes resolving a case where players would be invisible during a ruck. We didn't have that during a ruck. We'd certainly had invisible players during a scrum is something I experienced over this update so far. Improved AI decision making uh, after rucks and malls. Resolved reported case of incorrect offside calls and minor passing tweaks. Uh, the offside call was something that happened in my part two video. For anyone who hasn't seen that, it was actually a really fun game. We had uh, we had a lot of tries going on. I ended up losing it because the referee gave a penalty against me for offside, which cost me the game. Come on, boys, get in there! What do you mean? What do you mean offside? There's no offside in this game. I've never seen. <laughs> I've never seen an offside penalty given, and it's about to cost us the game. I'm saying refs, refs are paid off. Outrageous. And I did kind of lose my mind a bit of that because <laughs> that felt really harsh um, and I've experienced it more. The offside calls were just incorrect. There was actually no one offside. The ref was just giving them. But it's nice to know offside is slowly working its way into the game. Improved graphics. Adjusted overall visuals uh, including player marker, replays, camera clipping and further work in progress improvement to overall graphical fidelity. Well, uh, yeah, the camera clipping and the, the replays after Tribal score were very jumpy so I'm hoping they're going to end up being a little bit more smooth and maybe not be behind the back areas, as is something we've uh, experienced a lot in this patch. Um, improved UI, general polish to the player, team, and logo creators. Uh, resolved reported issues, improved UI, and cleanup functionality. Okay, well, you know, that might be a bigger video to check out the, the logo creators, but we'll have a quick look at them here. And then finally, improved stability, uh, resolved reported set-piece non-progression issues. There were certainly a, a few of them across the game. So let's have a quick look to uh, to start us out then. Let's jump into the uh, the player creators and what have you. Um, I can have a quick look to see... Oh, I don't want to create a new one. I just want to have a look at my, my existing one. There is my uh, Sebastian Chabal that I made in my, uh, in my video. Uh, anything looking outrageously difference that I'm going to notice on the fly. It's going to be very hard for me to just probably outwardly say I I can notice these differences. Um, again, always a little bit harder to tell in the video compared to my... I've got a 2K screen playing, whereas the video, of course, in 1080. So maybe some of the definitions are not going to be quite as good for the, for the players as I get to see on my camera. Um, it all looks... Pretty similar. I didn't actually do any of the skills and stuff in that video either. I probably could have done some of that, but I, I didn't really know if anything adjusted any of that stuff. Nothing, you know, major going in there. The logo creator, dare we? Dare we have a look at the uh, at the logo creator? Okay, don't touch the logo creator. The logo creator broke everything. Not just the game. It broke OBS. It broke my microphone. Everything crashed and burned as soon as I hit the logo creator. So we're not doing that. We're not going to touch the logo creator again. We'll put that one down as something that doesn't work for me. We can have a quick look at the, the community um, because I've seen you guys on Discord have been putting up your your creations for logos as well as the as the player creations. So just to let you sort of guys know that there is 
a bunch more players now. There, people have been uploading their own players, their overall stats. There's a couple of 99s in there. Already nice to see people are already getting the 99 overall rated players in there. Uh, but this will be very useful for you guys on console. Obviously, when the game eventually comes out, these players are already created and can uh, be thrown straight uh, into your game so you don't have to worry about necessarily creating plays and what have you. I think people are already trying to make some of the teams that aren't already in the game, which I'm sure will be coming, like the New Zealand and, uh, and teams like that. But we'll jump into an actual game because I'm not touching that logo creator uh, again <laughs> without uh, very, very cautiously knowing it's going to break everything. So we'll jump into a game. We'll test out the new things they've given us in the patch notes. I don't know of the teams we've sort of already done. Um... Have we done Leicester Tigers? I think we did them in the last video, Saracens. We can do Bath. Let's go Bath versus... Uh, I, I kind of want to keep it as the Premiership game, so I don't feel we've got to see them enough. Uh, Bath going up against Bears. Hey, why not? Let's uh, let's do Bath versus Bears. We're going to play on the hardest stadium. We're going to go back on Leicester Stadium because it's the one I've generally had the most fun with. I think the crowd is the most involved, so I want to keep it like that. Uh, time of day, uh, afternoon, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, match half, it's going to be five minutes, and we're back on the hardest difficulty. We're going to hopefully... Not get dominated by the team on the hardest difficulty. Sometimes when these patches do come in, they they really mess up how the how the game plays and can be totally different. So we'll give it a, a, a look for this one. Uh, so we're going to be looking at the support running lines, the 5022s from the AI, the replay cameras. Um, I think that's about it in terms of, oh, we've got some of the offside calls. I'm just sort of hoping we don't see that many offside calls unless it is you know truly offside. Like I have players running halfway up the pitch. But the, uh, yeah, the UI, we've got a couple of changes to the player markers and stuff. So that'll be interesting to, uh, to have a look at as well. There's our Bears. Oh, Bears not in the game. I thought Bears actually were in the game. I thought they had their, their full team. Maybe not. I think Bath does, though. I think we've got uh, the old Finn Russell and stuff going to kick us off in the uh, in the playoff position. Oh, no. Unfortunately, Bears aren't in the game. That's annoying. Uh, but they've got the uh, N10 is going to be coming up. Ben 10's <laughs> less full name cousin. Right. Number 10 to get us kicked off and underway. Let's see. That I couldn't work out which way I was facing. Right. We're up to the uh, left to right. So let's get in there, boys. Let's see how well the uh, the rucks hold up in, in this one as well. Because the ruck turnover was very, very difficult uh, in the in the last patch we were playing. Oh, wow. we got a, a lot of different setups here. Oh, we've already got a scrum half not in. Come on, scrum half. Go, go, go. We haven't got time for this. Wow. We've gone really far out. Pass back inside, maybe. Man, we are already under the pump here. Get in, boys. Okay, the AI aren't flying into those rucks as quickly as they have done in, in other patches. Let's see if we can try and hit the line. Right, who's with you, boys? Support line. Oh, well, we actually had... <laughs> we actually had a support runner, but my guy didn't pass to him. He passed 30 feet backwards. We had a really nice support running line. He just didn't get that. Okay, Mike, this guy's going to throw it in the wrong way. Whoa, look at that. Exhibition stuff. Coming in there by uh, by the hooker to get that line out in. Right, and they're already off to a charge. They've already got huge men overlap here. Great job going in there by Finn Russell to get that tackle. Absolutely necessary. Who's out there, boys? Going to have to run across. Going to have to get my lock out there. Anyone going to be able to get on the end of this? No, they're going to go for a try. Oh, we pushed him over the edge. <laughs> Couldn't get the ball down. 22 meter dropout. Horrendous. Coach will be going absolutely ballistic. Uh, now, I'm not going to mind about, you know, conceding. Oh, I can't. I can't go any more left than that angle there. That's weird. I can go right, but not left. I can't get it more along that corner if I wanted to. Interesting. Maybe the wind is being added on. They don't want me to be able to kick it straight out. I think you should be able to kick it straight out and make it my fault that went wrong. Well, they've let this ball bounce. We're running onto it, boys. Okay, don't know what happened there. <laughs> and a scrum. Why a scrum? What? What ruling is that? <laughs> Okay, some of the rules still feeling off. That's what we've uh, we've gone on so far. So apparently you can't drop out and kick it into touch even if it bounces. Of course, not how that rule works at all. You can't just leave the ball to, to bounce and, and gain yourself a 50 meter advantage in a scrum. But hey-ho, good tackle again by Finn Russell coming in. Right, can we get a turn over here? He looks slightly isolated. No, we can't make the most of that one. Again, pretty isolated here. If we can get in. Oh man, they just about getting those players in nice and early. We'll get a little sidestep around me that time. Yeah, we'll uh, not, not compete for that one. Let's just get my players further out. Oh, they hit the short line. And we made a break. Right, we do have a guy alongside us. We're getting hunted down. My guy is actually overtaking me. But we're going <laughs> to... I mean, we have support runners. It's worked really well for us. We'll go over for the try. The AI not able to uh, to take us down. And Josh Bayless will go over for our, uh, our first try of the game. We did have support runners. They were su supporting me so much. 
They were beyond me. They were gone. <laughs> but at least they're there. At least they were there as an option. Um, we will, of course, be testing, you know, to make sure those passes work. Because so far we've had one pass go wrong. I didn't want to chance that pass because they were, they were genuinely running ahead of me then. So we'll test that one out uh, a little bit more. But it looks like support runners have been improved, which is nice to see. Let's slot that one through. Well done to, uh, to Finn Russell there. We haven't seen them try for any 50-22s uh, yet. Next breakaway, now that we're in the lead, I'll definitely have a look to just pass to the support player, you know, whether or not it's going to work. And we'll test that out too. Number 10 to get us back off and underway. Let's see if we can get a nice exit clearance. I do find it really weird that that ball falls short so often and the guy running back to our try line catches it. I would really like them to fix that and have a player run onto the ball rather than a player running backwards. Right, oh, we might have something here, boys. One more, one more. Oh, give the offload, come on. We were away there. Slowing it down. Good work by them. Just to slow you us down a little bit. Let's go one to the... No. Nope. Well, not what I wanted. I wanted to pass to my scrum half. Said, nope, we'll do it. We'll do it his way. We get there. Good counter ruck there. Okay, so rucking felt a bit better there. They definitely didn't have the men in. We had the advantage there. And we were able to punish them for it. I don't think there's anyone in that back. Oh, I tried to get a kick away. Is that going to count as a knock-on or not? Uh, someone pick it up. Okay, my guy picked it up. Probably should be a knock-on. I still don't know if knock-ons are actually in this game yet. I don't think they are. Let's just go... One more. Oh, I still can't quite get it around the, the outside there. Come on, Scrum Half. Get with it. Bit of pace, boys. Yeah. Anyone? Still an issue with the Scrum Half thing? I do like that the Scrum Halves are now the guys to go in and get the ball. But, you know, they've got to be able to actually Crash. recover it. And you can't Bye. just have it stay stationary and nothing Zero. happened. Come on, boys. In we get. Okay, we've been able to steal that scrum at least. There's there's a bit of a positive difference. Right, we're going to try and attack this wing, which means for some reason I need to actually go upwards, I think, because the camera's going to rotate around. Let's try and go upwards around here and see if we can get a little bit of a breakaway. Right, who's with me? Got a bit of a sidestep there. Not really enough time to judge who I was going to pass to for a supporting player. We are standing very narrow to each other. Can we keep going down this wing? Oh, there's good work by them. We've lost a couple meters there. Looks like we're going to have to go pass for another wide one. This scrum half is, is taking his sweet time to get from, from ruck to ruck here. It's kind of killing our, our pace of the game at the minute. Get in there. Quick ball. Right, we want to go left here. We've got numbers on the offload. Okay, well, we're going to go that way, apparently. Let's keep going. Let's try and make some ground down here. Still, uh, the sidesteps actually feel like they're coming in a little bit more. Feels like I'm able to get a few more of them off correctly now. Another offload. Straight in that line. Oh, I thought maybe there would be a hole open up. Not quite. Come on, boys. Let's spread it a bit wider now. Scrum half again. A bit slow to this one. Oh, and we've let it go wide here. Well, it worked. Who's with me, boys? On the support line. Let's go for the pass. <laughs> That's two from two so far that I've gone for the support player. Maybe I have to hold down the pass and, you know, manually select them. Oh, wow. Another loose pass going in there. A lot, of, lot more loose passes going in so far. But we'll go for this this line out. But that is two from two now, where we've gone for the pass to the to the player supporting, and it just hasn't gone to them at all, which you know is a bit of a shame, because I would like to really see that pass go to go to hand here. Again, felt a bit weird. Not the guy I was aiming for. Anyone with me here to go for a little pass back inside? That was the guy, but he took quite a looping run round. You know that cost us a try by him. You know not being not passing to the guy I wanted. Again, I wanted to go. Clearly to that next guy along in the in the line, a little short pass there, and they went they went long again for some reason. Let me try holding down the pass and try and do a bit more pass selection. Okay, I went for the B pass, didn't quite work. Can we reach out and put a try down? Doesn't look like it. Okay, we're going to try and hit that gap. I'm going to hold down the pass button as well, try and get an offload. Not the guy. It's interesting. It didn't even highlight the guy then that I would have wanted to pass to is going to hit that hole. It doesn't seem to want to just pass to the next guy in the in the line. That time it did work. I feel like we could have scored about three tries here if the passes just went to who I would want it to go to. Oh, got a little tap around the outside. They went for the tap tackle. Right, come on, we've got to go wide here, surely. In at the corner. In at the corner. Yeah, there we go. Right, we're over for try number two. Um, and I'll let the replay cameras go because we want to have a look at that. Haven't seen the AI try any more kicks yet. They haven't really had a lot of the ball, to be fair. We've been able to dominate possession quite a lot in this game. Let's see how the camera looks. Any uh, janky sort of switches around? We are still behind the barriers, which is a shame. But we haven't got any of those sort of jumping around camera angles and stuff. It feels a bit more smooth. A bit of uh, sun glint over the, over the top of the stadium there as well. Uh, have we noticed anything going on with the player markers? 
<clears throat> I can't say that I've seen a, a drastic difference. Overall, visuals including player marker. I don't can't say I've noticed a great deal about the, the markers changing around my player. Maybe it's a bit more to do with kicking. We can definitely try out some more some more kicking. But there's our halftime stats. 79% possession, to be fair. We are dominating possession. We're not really giving them a, uh, a chance to, to make the most of <laughs> going for these 50-22 kicks. But we'll be kicking the ball back to them this time. Finn Russell to get us uh, kicked off with this one. Let's slot this one down a little bit deeper into that far corner. Um, yeah, we want to kind of see about their 50-22s. I, I might try some more kicking myself. Okay, that time they, they went straight for the kick. Straight out. Was that inside or outside is 22? It's very hard to tell for some reason in this game where that kick was taken from. Must have been taken inside the 22. Every time I go back and check these in editing, they're always correct. And I feel like I'm being quite harsh. Let's go for a kick over the top. It's going to fall kind of short. Oh, I thought maybe the bounce could have been on there. Oh, slowly. In we get, boys. Any <laughs> The AI lineup seemed to be a little bit more all over the place. There always seems to be something slightly off. Right, let's have a look at the rucking. Improved rucking. Do we still have the issue where my players are running away? We are still having that issue with my players running away from the mall. That's a bit of a shame. Um, and they haven't fixed this thing where the clock has stopped. And, you know, I can I can push this for as long as we want. That is a, that is a bit of a shame. I thought that might have been one of the things that they said. You know, they said about fixing invisible players at the ruck. That... I would have liked to have seen the, you know, the stopped clock and stuff be the thing that gets fixed mostly from the, from the ruck. Right. Three-man pod in the line-out. We're going out to the back. Oh, come on, let's see if we can go wide here, boys. Oh, that's a nice pass. Come on, one more. We've got our guy with us. That's a nice offload. Okay, we've got our guy. Yeah, I actually cannot select my, my support run. I was clearly trying to go for the guy in the midfield there. And I even held it down just to see who was an available option. It wasn't an available option. So the support line players have been changed. That was a really nice sort of interchanging play. That time looked better. One more, one more. It's not quite there. That's so annoying. The, the support runners are much better. They are so much better positioned to actually give you that option. They just can't get the get the pass to hand. That's such an annoying thing to, to not quite be correct at this point. We're going to endlessly do this mall. We'll just sort of let this uh, just go out right there. Going to go for a box kick from there. Probably going to go straight out. The AI... Oh! My guy didn't fancy that one, did he? <laughs> he just watched it bounce in front of him. Didn't fancy coming uh, onto the end of it. Right, we're still going to test out these kicks because it's the one area that I haven't felt like I've done a lot with. Let's go to the back this time. Let's try and pass this one out wide. Put this into the far corner. It does feel a bit more controlled with the, with the kicking. Oh, I'm not going to quite get that as a 50-22. I thought that was a really nicely angled kick. Not quite where I wanted it to be. But the kicking actually does feel, I don't know, just a bit more cohesive. I might try some... Wow, this took a long time to get to it. Again, another ball where just nobody is collecting it. Oh, nobody's collecting it. Nobody's collecting it. Um. Right. What's going to be my fix for this? What if I select sides? What if I go over to the bear side? Yep. Any of you guys want to pick it up? Ah. An issue. <laughs> so we've now got an unplayable ball. Unfortunately, this game is done. Uh, oh, that's a, that's a very annoying time for that to have happened out. Just that into the second half as well. No, uh, I don't think there was anything weird that happened there either. It was just a pretty standard kick. For some reason, nobody nobody catches it, and the ball just goes through people. And we've had a dead game. Clock has gone. Scoreboard has gone. Whole UI has gone. All that brilliant polish that they've done for the improved UI is is just not there for me because I can't even see it anymore. I just thought, you know what? We'll give it a we'll give it a bit more time just to just to play again. We won't play to the end, which is a bit of a shame. We'll just we'll just do a little bit more just to see if we can work on this kicking a bit, and then we'll uh, we'll get onto the the sort of thoughts and and feedback. That's a, that's a real shame that that game, not uh, not being able to finish up from something, you know, it's basically just having a, having a kick off, but let's see how we, how we get on. That is a huge hit coming in there. Now, off camera, I have actually had my first ever high tackle penalty uh, go against me, which was nice to know it's, it's in the game. Wow, I cannot get it to this guy down on the, down on the wing. Uh, was in the game, unfortunately. Oh, man, and a pass going forwards has just been thrown over the ruck. Oh, dear. 
Man, there's, there's, there's a few more things going wrong. Not what, uh, what I was expecting. Genuinely, I thought Early Access 4 was actually very good. I've, I've enjoyed playing through Early Access 4. I thought this little interim update just to fix a couple of things. The, the patch they put out shortly after um, Early Access 4 where they fixed the, the passes going loose thing as well felt really good. I had a lot of faith in this one. We've got another loose ball there. Anyone going to pick that one up this time? Oh, they picked that one up. Okay, well, they got a, a nice little breakaway there. Anyone with them? Let's see if we can get a tackle. Shut him down. Don't let him through, boys. My players feel slower into the ruck now as well for some reason. I'm trying to tell them to get in there. Well, wrapped up. Come on, we've got to have numbers there, right? And a good counter. So it looks like the ruck's actually working better. If you if you get the advantage in the ruck, it looks like you can actually get a really good counter ruck by using the Y button. It, it's it's feeling more consistent, which is good. The rucks, for some reason, feel feel much better. Even though I don't think they actually necessarily said about they were trying to improve the general feel for the for the rucks, but they do feel better than than the the first patch for early access four. Scrum half slow again. Man, uh, oh, it's, I just I cannot for some reason get it to to clearly the player I would want to get it to in that position. We're being pushed back. Let's go for a um, a box kick here. Let's see if it feels a little bit better. Go for a long range kick. They have managed to catch it. I am actually having some frame rate drops as well, which is something I have not experienced in this game. Uh, seemingly on the kicks when the balls are sort of flying through the air, the, the frame rates will drop down. Oh, that was a nice choice to go up the blind side there. I was not ready for that. That was a good call by them. We have slight advantage in that ruck. Didn't manage to get the turnover. Wow. Terminator here. <laughs> Can't shut this guy down. Try and get in. Oh, they're still trying to make their way up. A few more of these little side steps coming in by the AI. It's got a lot more ruck base. I literally cannot tackle these people. Tackle him. Put him to the ground, boys. Another loose ball. Well, we'll take it. Right, can we actually get it? I can't pass to that guy. I cannot pass to my own support runner. It's such a shame. Did I jump over the line? <laughs> I look back at my camera, I actually missed the try. I feel like I actually jumped over my own dead ball line there and didn't actually score a try. Let's have a look at this. Did Ollie Lawrence get this one down? Oh, I won't be able to see it because behind the boards. I feel like I dived very far then. I feel like I might have actually missed that. Let me just go back. I want to have a look at that quickly. Did I have a look? Let's, uh... Oh, no, okay, we didn't. We were okay. I, I genuinely thought we dived too far then. The game would just let that be. And we'll sort that one through. So, unfortunately, yeah, the support lines are there. They just, you just can't choose them. I don't know what that is. That feels like a real shame. <laughs> In fact, you've lost a player to be able to potentially pass to. Um, have I noticed anything about the, the markers around the, the, the players? I, I can't really say, you know, maybe they just polish it. Maybe they just try to make it look a little bit cleaner. I can't say I've noticed a, a great deal of difference in the, in the player markers. They're still just that red. Um, you know, two-thirds circle, then one-third is white, which I've never really understood what it's trying to tell me. Let's just have a look at the kick on the player marker. That kick bar actually might have a slightly more uh, boosted sort of arrow to show how much kicking power you're putting onto it, as opposed to it used to almost be like a bar inside that circle. No no indicator for the for the box kicks or anything, though. It's just, we'll just go for that high up and under. Fair tackle there. Oh, another pickup, another loose pass going there. That loose pass issues coming back in and sort of really punishing the, the team. Let's just try and go out one more. Again, I felt I had a four on three there. If we could have just gone through the hands, it should have been pretty available to us. Oh, man, I cannot get that kick away. Still waiting for them to have like the, the ability to drop it back in the pocket on purpose and be able to get a kick away. I feel it'd be so nice in this game. Going to get wrapped up there, nowhere through. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to pass this left, even though I want to go right. I can tell. Use it! Yep. Press, press left. Sometimes when you can hold down the buttons, you can see who they want to pass to, and it selects players on the opposite side. Again, I wanted it to, to go to uh, to Doc and the Singer there to allow him to get through. That was a better pass. That one actually felt like it worked. Be able to get that one away. Down the wing. Slow ball. Come on, boys. Well, I've got absolutely nobody out here. Not the, uh, not the way to go. Anyone going to drop back in this pocket for me? I want to try and get a kick. Into that corner. Nope. Let's go for a one-off pass. Well, again, not the guy who you'd, you'd want to go to there. That time did kind of hit my support runner. It's just not not somebody there to, to carry on that run. You make the pass. They get tackled immediately. One more. Can't get through that side. Make a bit of a break. Who's with me? That time, nobody with me. I actually had to just sort of go on that one on my own. Nobody trying to hit that line with me. 
played out the back. I wanted to hit that the blonde guy on the on the flat line. Didn't work for us. Let's try and go back out to the right. Could be room opening up in that midfield. Not quite gonna get through. Oh, I screw off so slow to the ball. Get in there. Right, we've got to have numbers out to the left now, surely. Somewhere. But going for the miss pass that I don't want. Oh, they cut inside for that one. Let's go for a grubber kick. Get that around. Into that far corner. <laughs> nobody, nobody picking up the ball. Anytime, scrum half, please, so we can get on with it. Oh, again, there was somebody hitting the gap and he's, he's passed it beyond him. Why are you passing beyond him? I'm holding down right pass at the minute and it wants to pass left. Doesn't matter what I do here. He's going to pass the wrong way. Scrum half's a million miles away as well. It's probably going to get done for a whistle. Uh, right, we're going to call it there. Oh, well, the, the half's going to be over. We're going to call it there and uh, we'll get on to the, the feedback because it's not really going anywhere at the minute. Alrighty, so feedback and thoughts time on uh, on what's going on. Let's chuck the uh, the the update patch notes back up on the on the screen again. We'll have a bit of a, a run through them. So, improved support runners. Support runners position themselves more aggressively to keep up with line breaks. Yes, they genuinely do. We had a couple of really nice runs in that game where players are right alongside me. They are right in the position. You want to go for a little pop pass. You've got a two on one, easy try walk over. Uh, unfortunately. You can't pass to them. I, I, I don't know why. I tried the quick pass option didn't work. I tried the hold down select to get the, the letter to appear above the head and go for the targeting passing. Also didn't work. Uh, so the ball just sort of goes to ground and goes loose or you, you chuck it 30 feet back anyway. So support runners are much better positioned. They look aggressive and it actually looks much better. But you can't pass to them. So still not quite there. That'll take another interim patch for that one to, uh, to, to work out itself. So we'll give that one, what, a 5 out of 10? <laughs> They are there, but you can't pass to them, so it doesn't really make a massive difference that they're there or not. Um, improved kicking system. Sips, kicking system for in-play kicks improved, including AI better targeting kicks when attempting 50-22. We didn't see the AI attempt to 50-22 in that game, or two games, actually. They didn't actually try and go for those corner kicks. They hit some, some decent kicks from box kicks, get them into, uh, into touch. We've had a couple of issues from kicks for some reason. Um, those dropouts completely froze the game. A couple of kicks generally in the game just not being collected by players and the ball left to just sort of roll around on the ground. So improved kicking system, maybe, because my actual kick that I did in the corner that I didn't quite get my 50-22 out of actually felt really solid. Um, but the, the you know, the receiver of the kick seems to be a bit more of an issue. General gameplay improvements uh, includes resolving a case where players would become invisible during a ruck. We didn't see anyone be invisible at a ruck. Improved AI decision making after rucks and mauls. There was actually a really nice choice where they actually went up the blind side, even though they had numbers going out to the right. They saw there was a gap and they went the wrong way. I think that was a good move by the AI. I think they're trying to find out a way through me. There's also a lot of opportunities for them to just keep breaking tackles. Some of those players were nightmares to, to shut down. They just wouldn't stop. Um, minor passing tweaks. I'll agree. There have been minor passing tweaks, and I don't think they're good, uh, unfortunately. Um, so to also say about the, the rucks and mauls, the, there's no change to that issue with the mall where the clock has stopped uh, and you can push the mall indefinitely. I think that's a shame. The rucks, though, do feel better. The, the ability to get turnovers genuinely felt better. It felt like if the AI didn't have a guy there, you could punish them very quickly. Whereas in the first patch for Early Access 4, it was very, very stationary, very, very hard to get a turnover. So it felt like they've been improved um, slightly in terms of the rucks. Improved graphics. Adjusted overall visuals, including player marker, replays, camera clipping, and further work in progress, improvement to overall graphical fidelity. The player marker thing, the only thing I could think of was that the, was the kicking arrow that goes around the outside. As I'm sure it used to be just a bar on the inside of the circle. And it was actually quite hard to see. I think they've added a bit more of an arrow now to show how much power you're putting into the kick. I still don't know what the purpose of that is because you have the circle on the ground that clearly shows what the power is. It doesn't seem to punish you of doing too much power. I don't really know what the purpose of it is, but I, it, that felt a little bit more clearer. Other than that, the marker, nothing stood out to me. If you guys noticed anything, drop it down in the comments and, and maybe I've missed it in, in playing through that then. Um, in the replays, the camera clipping, it didn't feel as jumpy. It actually felt a bit more smooth. There's still a bit of an issue where it's it's positioned behind the, the barriers. I feel like you could almost get away with having some slightly more unnatural camera angles like we had in Rugby 22 where you just sort of, the camera just sort of moves along with the player as opposed to needing to be a stationary camera 
on an angle facing it as if there is actually a cameraman there. I feel like you could get away with a bit more in, in those cameras, making them, you know, a bit more fun. Um, but actual clipping, didn't see, you know, clipping into the sheds or anything today. So it's, it felt like there's been a bit of improvement there. And then improved UI, general polish to the player, team, and logo creators, uh, and resolved reported issues, improved UI and cleanup functionality. Not, not to an extent that I can outwardly recognize, which is, you know, I'm not going to throw shade at a big ant there. I just genuinely, I, I've done, we of course did this, this video with Sebastian Chabal the other day, you know, other than just maybe trying to make the, some of the text maybe slightly, you know, it's not something that stands out to me and I go, wow, look at that difference in, in what's going on. It looks, it looks, you know, relatively similar. Um, and then the logo creator broke my entire system from clicking on the logo creator. So I can't talk about the, uh, the logo creator, but it is nice. More and more of you guys have been creating uh, players and putting it on there and then resolved uh, a set piece, uh, non-progression issues. We didn't have any issues at the set piece apart the, the clock in the mall, but ball on the ground from a kick. Players can't pick it up. Game still uh, still got an issue there, so stability. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about this interim update because I've played a lot of early Access 4. I've been enjoying it. We've moved back to, oh man, that, that might be a tough game to finish. I don't know. I'll be putting in some more time off camera. Looking forward to hearing your guys' thoughts, as always, down in the comment section. If you've been playing along in early Access 4, I'm sure I'll have a read through of the, the Discord discussions and what have you tonight as well. And uh, get a bit of a feel for how you guys are perceiving this one. For me... I don't know. Feels like a bit of a backward step for, for me in this interim patch. I'm sure they'll, you know, maybe do another interim patch just to try and correct some of those issues. They fixed the passing issue in the Early Access 4 launch very, very quickly, which I was very impressed by. Um, so hopefully a few more of those things can get fixed. Uh, but there we have it, guys. Let me know down in the comment section your thoughts, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.